Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at a classic graph theory problem. That's the seven bridges of Königsberg. Now let's just first find these actual bridges. Königsberg today is called Kaliningrad. We could type in Kaliningrad here. And it pops up. You can see if we zoom out a little bit. And maybe it'll be clear if we go to the map mode here. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Right. Where are we? Well, we are on the former border of eastern Germany and Russia. It used to be um, Königsberg in Germany, but, but after war, uh, it, it was renamed Kaliningrad and was for a time part of the USSR. But the bridges, some of them are still here today. Now, the original problem was that the people of Königsberg, or today Kaliningrad, um, had this one section of their city, and you can see here is this river, it's the Prigolia, I think I'm saying it right, the south and north. It runs and intersects and meets at this landmass right here. Now, in this spot, there used to be seven bridges. So let's switch to the. Oops, I don't want to download that. So here's a satellite image. Now, today, what we see, if we zoom in, a little bit. Um, Zoom out, sorry. Okay, so these rivers right here, they're running around this island, and there used to be seven bridges. Today there are only five, and I think only only two of the original bridges remain, but, but here are the five. One, two, three, four, five. Now there are two more, and I think they, these two bridges right here were actually four bridges, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bridges. In the game, uh, the sun on Sunday, the walks, they would try and walk starting at any one of these land masses on the rivers and then try to walk across all the bridges without repeating any bridge more than once. So could you start somewhere? Could you start up here or down here, uh, over here, maybe over here, maybe start on the island and cross one of the bridges and keep going until you cross all of them without having to repeat uh, any bridge twice. That's the problem in the question. And it wasn't really until Leonard Euler came along, a uh, famous mathematician, and realized uh, that this can be drawn in, as a graph. And that's what we're going to look at here. So typically, um, what you might see instead of, and I'll just, this is part of the genius right here, we have these two rivers flowing and this landmass right here. And in fact, let me just take a little screenshot of this. And we'll, then we'll look at what Euler realized. Got that? I think it worked. So here, here's what what they might have had. Something similar about the, a map that represented this right here. And let's draw in the original bridges. So let's use red. That just stand out. So we have one, two, three, four. This is how it used to be. These are now each one bridge. Five, six, seven bridges. And then we have land masses. Here's one separated by a river. Here's another. Here's another. Oops. Here's another. And then here, of course, is the river. Color that in. So as before we talk about how Euler thinks, thought about this problem, what he actually did, just take a look at this. How would you think about this in terms of dots and lines. What would you do? What would you draw? Right? What would represent the land? How would you represent the bridges? What would you do? So this this drawing right here, let me just re-emphasize that bridge right there, here, bridges. This is often uh, represented by a drawing that looks somewhat like that. What you might see is a little sketch of rivers, for example, the river coming in. It's not drawn exactly like the, the map, but that's okay, right? So we might see that right here. The rivers are coming in and they connect right here, just as they do right here, right? You can see it, it's somewhat of the same. So this is the rivers, and then what you see are bridges. So let's draw those bridges in, right? One bridge is right here, and that's this one right here. One connects the land here and here. There's another bridge down here which is often represented like this. And that is essentially the same thing, right? That bridge connects the land, this empty space land, 
to this space right here. It's doing the same thing here, just drawn down a little bit. And then two bridges here, um, which sometimes can be drawn like this and up here, just to, to emphasize that those bridges are actually separate. So this is what you might see in a, in, a, in a textbook, right? And we'll draw these bridges in a little bit thicker. So it's the seven bridges of Konigsberg. I'll spell that Konigsberg, which today is Kaliningrad. Okay, so Euler saw all this, and he realized that you can draw this into a graph. And before we even talk about the solution, this is such an amazing uh, idea, and it's just so brilliant that it has to has to kind of amaze you that there's a way of doing this. And um, what he did was to draw a dot here. And I'm not going to say that as yet, but then he drew three lines. This is, a, this is like classic, classic problem. So dot with three lines coming from it. And then we have a dot down here. And another one. And another one. And then a couple more lines. And we're done. This picture, this is why graph theory I think is so interesting, is able to represent this problem. Let's talk about how. I'm going to redraw the dots uh, with green to represent land because the dots, what they represent is land. Whether it's an island or a continent or whatever, that's a land mass, right? This is land right here. And you can see it right here. This is the land mass. Now from that landmass, there are how many bridges? One, two, three. So these lines, what do they represent? Well, they represent the bridges. Okay, and then these three dots, what does that represent? Well, that represents the three pieces of land. The bottom dot represents this land right here. And notice that bottom dot has one, two, three bridges coming from it. One, two, three. This middle dot represents this island right here. And notice that it has one, two, three, four, five bridges coming from it, as it does having five lines. One, two, three, four, five lines. And this land up here also has one, two, three bridges coming from it, or three lines. So he was able to represent this picture, which is based on the map of the actual city, and simplify it into this graph. And it's such a powerful tool to be able to do that. Now the question is, can you do it? Can you start at this landmass and then maybe somehow walk here to the end to all these other landmasses by only crossing each bridge once? And I, I think at this point, I'm going to say, well, the rest of this video uh, is only relevant if you're curious as to what the answer is. If you want to discover it on your own or think about why uh, this may or may not be possible, right? play with it, and in, in other videos will explain a lot more as to why Euler was able to solve this problem, what his ideas were. The basic answer is that, no, you cannot do it. It's impossible to start at any of the land points, cross the bridges, and only cross those bridges once. There's just no way to do it. And I, and I think a simplified way of thinking about it, and this is what, what Euler was saying, was that, okay, if I start here, pretend I'm starting here. How many bridges are coming from this point? Well, there's one, two, three bridges. What does that mean? Well, regardless of what the rest of the graph looks like, just think that, okay, if there are three bridges, that means I have to leave on one of the bridges. Let's say this one. Okay, so I'm walking away, I'm leaving on that bridge. At some other point in time, I have to come back to this island. And then I have to leave again, because there are three bridges. Well, that also means that at this landmass, which also has three bridges, at some point I'll be coming to it, right? Let's say I leave here, come back, and go to it. So I'm coming to it once, and then I'm leaving it again. I don't know, it's over here, it doesn't even matter. I know at some point I have to come to it and leave, and then at some point I have to come back. Or I have to come back to it because how else would I cross that other third bridge? And that's a problem. Because, and this landmass too, I have another three bridges. So what does that mean? Well, that means at some point I have to come to this island, I have to leave it, right? and I have to come back to it again. So in other words, I have to come to this island, leave it, and finish here, but I also have to finish here. How can I finish at both locations? How can I come, leave, and, and come back again? Right? If I come here, leave, and then come back again, I'm stuck on that island. I can't leave. 
That's why it has to be a finish point. And the reason I can't leave, well, I've already crossed the three bridges that connect to it. I already came, left, and then came back again. So there's no way off that island. So there are one, two, three dots, or, or land masses, with three bridges. And for each of them, I have to, or for two of them, I'm sorry, I have to, to come to them, leave, and then come back again. And once I do that, I'm stuck on an island. So no matter how I try this, and it's so tempting to just keep playing with it, uh, I'm going to end up, let's say here, leave, and come back again, but then I can't get off this island. And the same thing here, I have to come here, leave, and then come back, and I can't get off. So no matter how I try, I'm going to get stuck if I start here at either this island or this one. And, and just in case we don't feel comfortable with that idea, let's actually play a bit. So let me show you a demonstration, and then we're going to end this video. Okay. So let's say I start here. I leave, I come here. Okay. And now I come to this island. All right, we're going to have to leave the island, go this way, come back, and now I leave this island. Okay, good. I'm, I don't have to go back there. There's no problems. Now as I come to this island, I know I have to leave. There's a big issue because if I leave, I can either go here to this island, and then I can't get off of it, or here and I can't get off of it because I've already used all the bridges. Right? So already it's obvious to me that starting here makes it impossible. But what if I started there? Well, look at the symmetry in this graph. If I started here and I approached up, the same thing would happen. But if I start here, I still run into the same issue. And we'll just look at that real quick. Why do I still run into the same issue? I can leave from here. Oops. Right? And then leave this, this landmass right here. I can go up here. And now I can come back here. Okay. Well, then I leave, and now look at this. If I go north, I, I, I cross the last bridge up here, but then I can't leave that island because I've already used the two other bridges, right? The goal is to only cross each bridge at once. If I go south, I'm stuck, and I can't leave that island. So there's just no way of accomplishing this graph. And the heart, and what Euler's brilliance is, is he realized, and I'll describe it, try to describe his brilliance in some of the other videos, that there's something about the number of bridges going to the land that's so simple and remarkable that tells us there, there are certain conditions have to be met. And in this graph, in this picture, in this map, uh, I know right away, right from Euler's observations, that I just cannot cross each of these bridges only once. And I'll talk about what he realized in, in upcoming videos. All right, hope that helped.